From police to justice, the ministry has changed, not the person and the attitude of the same minister. The first aim was at those that were not serious about their jobs. I look forward to working with yourselves, um, those that are committed to this job, committed to service of our people. We will get along well, extremely well. Whoever's in the system that shouldn't be here, that's creating roadblocks, we will come to pass and you will lose your job. That much I can guarantee you. Minister for Justice Brian Kremer getting the message right where he wanted it, to the heads of the statutory bodies. The message was a welcoming one for the new Attorney General, Dr. Eric Kwa. He assumes the role of principal legal advisor to government in the absence of a lawyer as minister. So we want to thank the Prime Minister for recognizing and acknowledging the contribution that uh, the Honorable Minister has been playing both um, as a former honorary member of parliament and then as the Minister for Police and now as the Minister for Justice. 99 pieces of legislation we need to review. We need to update them. We need to reform them. And so hopefully before the 2022 elections, we will work with you to push some of those reforms through. The acquaintance saw the handing over of a legal dictionary which Dr. Kwa wrote and the keys of the building to Krema. Top of the agenda for the new Minister for Justice was the outstanding payments owed to the administrators of law at the lower levels. So the same approach applies to the Justice Department. Obviously, our village courts need to get paid, which they haven't. Uh... Apart from this, the minister spoke of the rollout of the recently passed Independent Commission Against Corruption, or ICAC bill. The issue um, with ICAC getting its funding, but to, point at this, to give you an understanding of how serious uh, the Prime Minister's allocated me this task, that I said, even the uh, parliamentary staff are going to be working on Christmas Day to certify so they can get to the point of certifying the bill. They were talking about next year, January. I said that's too far away. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.